ขออนุญาตผ่านแล้วครับสุดยอดมากนกด้วยนะครับมาก่อนอันนี้จ้าบเลยท่านี้ครับเดี๋ยวส่งคลิปนี้ให้ดรโชคดูนะครับคุณปรับเรสโลชันให้มันชัดๆกว่านี้ไม่ได้หรอได้มากสุดเท่านี Oh. อันนี้คล้ายๆแดนเซอร์เลยว่าจบซะแล้วจบแล้วนะครับสวัสดีครับเทสวันทูฟรีเทสวันทูฟรีเอาผมก็มาร์คของคุณไว้นะมีทัพกับคูเมตปะเออผมมาร์คไว้แล้วว่าคุณผมจริงๆผมไม่คาดหวังด้วยว่าคุณจะปรากฏตัวอยู่นะเวลาเนี้ยเพราะว่าเห็นใบของเรียนเราแจ้งว่าคุณต้องไปตั้งแต่ตอนเที่ยงบ่ายบ่ายสองใช่ไหมอ่าเงินข้าบสองไปขับได้ได้กระติกไว้ก็ดีครับผมจะได้แจ้งเป็นคนที่ต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้องการที่จะต้
Okay, let's start with our checklist. Um, Kana Wood, Kap Kana Wood. Lava, Chaya Paul, Hap Chaya Paul. Hello. ใช่คนนี้เหรอตัวหนังสือเนี่ยนะมาอ่านได้ยากมากครับอันนี้อ่านวัชยากรใช่ปะมันทําไมตัวหนังสือภาษาไทยเขาเหมือนกันทุกอักษรเลยโอเคโอเคตัวสตอมัชเอชหรือสัมเนียร์นะโอเคออนลิฟอะไร And uh, the next one, Tan Win, ครับ Tan Win, Tan Win, hello, หลับอยู่หรือเปล่าหรือว่าห้องน้ําหรือว่ายังไม่มาหรือเปล่าเอายี่สิบเจ็ดไปก่อนเดี๋ยวก็จิ้ม Tan Win ไม่รู้เอาแล้วเมื่อเช้าเข้าแถวด้วยกันนัทวัฒน์ครับนัทวัฒน์กลับบ้านแล้วเขียวอะไรด้วยเตรียมตัวแซดเหรอหรือว่าโอ้แต่มันก็ควรจะเช็คไว้ก่อนนะเลยผมไม่มีใบอะไรนะผมปล่อยว่างนะธนากรครับธนากรเศษโอเคคัดนะแต่ว่ายังอยู่นะครับแล้วก็สีลพบครับตัวขาวสูงๆผอมๆไปเลยครับสิรภพสิรภพโอเคแล้วก็อนิวัตครับรุ่นละวีเอารุ่นละวีเกิดเหตุการณ์อะไรไม่ไม่ลาไม่อะไรงั้นนะครับโอเคผ่านสาหารัฐครับโอเคสมัตอยู่นี่นะครับจีโน่อยู่นี่นะครับถ้าอยู่หน้าๆเดี๋ยวผมจะจําได้นะแดนฟ้าอยู่นี่นะครับชยากรนะชยากรโอเคครับแล้วก็คุณยวีครับคุณยวีครับโอ้เดี๋ยวนี้เกลื่อนเมืองแพร่กระจายไปมั่วซั่วหมดแล้วครับคุณอย่าไปเลยมันอันตรายครับมันเดี๋ยวคุณได้รับบาดเจ็บร่างกายจิตใจอย่าไปยุ่งอะไรกับลิงมันไม่รู้เรื่องนิสัยวิสัยคนถ้าคุณจะไปลบบุรีคุณก็ไปเที่ยวพวกเขื่อนพวกอะไรไร่ทานตะวันอะไรอย่างเงี้ยได้ปางสามยอดก็โดนยึดแล้วคุณอย่าไปเลยเดี๋ยวคุณเสี่ยงต้องมาฉีดวัคซีนอ่ะเออถ้ามันกัดขึ้นมาคุณต้องมาฉีดวัคซีนนะครับอย่าคือดูขี่นั่งรถไปอ่ะแล้วก็ปิดกระจกแล้วก็มองเอาดีกว่าถ้าอยากเห็นด้วยตานะครับหรือดูคลิป YouTube ก็ได้แต่ถ้าคุณลงไปเดินที่ปางสามยอดเลยผมไม่ค่อยแนะนําครับเดี๋ยวคุณได้รับบาดเจ็บลิงมันแบบนิสัยแบบอันตรพานะครับเออไม่ใช่สัตว์เลี้ยงที่แบบว่าเฟรนลี่กับมนุษย์อะไรอย่างเงี้ยไม่ใช่อย่างนั้นนะครับผมเจอแต่เด็กๆป .6 แล้วครับผมซื้อถุงผลไม้มะว่วงแช่อิ่มอ่ะก็กระชากมาจากมือผมเลยอ่าอย่างนั้นแหละผมเดินขึ้นรถโดยสารจะไปรอรถโดยสารเนี่ยอันตรพานครับเคยไหมเดี๋ยวนี้ยิ่งปริมาณยิ่งเยอะเขาไม่ได้แบบเขาไม่เขาเรียกว่าอะไรนะควบคุมเขาเรียกว่าคุมกําเนิดใช่ไหมครับอ่าวันนั้นโอเคอ่าภูมินันครับภูมินันแล้วก็กันเอกครับกันเอกอยู่หลังๆโอเคครับแล้วก็กริดครับกริดเคกริดกริดเคที่เป็นนักบาสเปล่าหรือว่านักอะไรนะกริดเคไปไหนแล้วเออนักแบดชมไม่เจอนัทนนท์ครับนัทนนท์บัตรไอแบดเหมือนกันมาก่อนทักกริดครับทักกริดแล้วก็ปราธรรมไปหาหมอนะกริดจีครับโอเคครับแล้วก็ธนทรเห็นแบบ
เรนาริดนาริดอยู่ไหนเลยเนาริดเปลี่ยนแพลตฟอร์มในการเล่นเกมแล้วนะกูไม่เอาอันขาวๆมาแล้วนะอันนี้เล่นใน iPad เลยนะกาซิเดทครับกาซิเดทนี่ครับกาซิเดทแว่นแว่นเท่มากนะครับผมอ่าพัทธดนครับอยู่ไหนเอ่ยฮัลโหลไอเห็นหน้าหน่อยครับโอเคสิยีบเจ็ดมาครับนี่เช็คก่อนเพื่อเลยนะแล้วก็ภูเมศอยู่นะครับโอเคคนนี้ผมกังวลที่สุดเลยนะคนสุดท้ายเนี่ยวิบูลวิบูลว่าไงไม่อยู่ครับขอออกแซดตั้งแต่วันพุธเช็คชื่อแล้วก็หนีไปเลยวันนี้ไม่ปรากฏนะคุณไปดีเฟนไปแก้ตัวกับพวกด็อกเตอร์โชคอะไรเองนะเวลาคุณเรียนไม่ถึงเข้าสอบไม่ได้อะไรเงี้ยผมช่วยอะไรไม่ได้นะครับคุณไปคุยอะไรกับเขาเองครับโอเคเอาไว้เรียนเรียนเล่นๆสนุกสนุกอย่างเงี้ยเดี๋ยวคุณก็ปวดหัวตอนมันจะเป็นมสไม่มีสิทธิ์สอบอ่ะผมช่วยอะไรคุณไม่ได้ right six or five โอเควันนี้ผมไม่ได้ตั้งสายอะไรยงยาแล้วเพราะว่าเอาผิดเคเพิ่งมาคุณจำได้คุณตัวเอาเดี๋ยวคุณไม่ตีแบตเหรอหรือว่าไงแล้วอีกคนนึงอ่ะนัทธนนท์ที่อยู่ด้วยกันครับวันนี้มันมาแล้วจ้าทำไมไม่เป็นไรเช็คเข้าที่มีครับแล้วคุณก็ไปแก้ตัวกับพวกด็อกเตอร์โชคอะไรเองครับกับคุณครูรถอะไรเอาเองผมช่วยเหลืออะไรไม่ได้แล้วโอเค this is the almost at the end of thermodynamics right next time we are gonna Uh, start with the new chapter that's solid and fluid. So uh, I cannot remember properly whether we have already visited this problem already. Or not. อันนี้เราแก้ไปแล้วหรือยังทำไปแล้วใช่ไหมครับไปแล้วนะ So we arrive at this one, right? Mono, mono time. Monatomic uh, ideal gas that has the temperature of uh, 300. อันนี้ไปแล้วหรือยัง Monatomic อันนี้อันนี้นะไปแล้วนะครับ So uh, uh, this one right balloon balloon ไปแล้วไปแล้วด้วยโอ้โหเยอะมากแล้ววันนี้จะมีอะไรเรียนกันเนี่ยอันนี้กราฟนี้ไปแล้วหรือยังอยากโอเคโอเค this is the problem about I don't know which process is that does that belong to okay quantity of four mole of again monatomic ideal gas Expands from an initial volume of uh, 0.1 cubic meter. You can see from this uh, diagram, pressure starts from one. Okay. ผมเป็นห่วงคุณยังเดี๋ยวคุณต้องไป defend กับพวก Dr. Fer ว่าคุณหลายครั้งเดี๋ยวคุณขาดหลายครั้งผมกลัวว่าคุณจะต้องไปแก้ตัวกับพวกโอเคดีมากครับเดี๋ยวมันจะไม่จบเอานะครับโอเคไหมอ่าไปแล้วครับสิริวิทย์ผมไม่ไปห้องนู้นห้องนู้นครูกวางเขาแทนครับโอเคขับหน้าได้ครับโอเค we start from 0.1 cubic meter, which is right here. Okay, the initial volume, and then uh, by some techniques, okay, uh, they increase the volume to 0.3 cubic meter, and the pressure also increases uh, to this value, which is the 2.5, 10 to 5. Uh, คุณเช็คเอาในลายกลุ่มแล้วกันครับว่ามีติดให้คุณหรือเปล่า250 thousand pascal 
Okay, that's the final picture. We start from one ten, uh, ten to five, uh, one hundred thousand Pascal in uh, computer work done on the gas, change in the internal energy of the gas, and the thermal energy transferred to the gas. So if you look at the last problem, that's Q equal to delta U plus W, right? Uh, yeah, this one, may, you, need, you need to use uh, the first law of thermodynamics, and that Q equal to delta U plus W, right? And uh, change in internal energy of the gas, so it's going to be uh, PV NRT or something like that. Uh, but the work done would be uh, W is area under the P V curve, right? Okay, and uh, the other U is a little bit tricky. Okay, uh, we're gonna see later how to solve that. Anyway, uh, let's start with uh, the area under the uh, PV curve, right? So our target is to find Okay. is to find the area in uh, the amount of the area which is shaded here. Okay, so uh, you can uh, simply use the basic formula of the trapezoid, right? Trapezoid. Oh, sorry. Move on. Okay. <laughs> โอ้มีสูตรเคมีด้วยนะจะสอบกันแล้วหรือว่าไงครับเนี่ยใครชอบพวกเอทิลเมทิลนี่คุณต้องเรียนวิศวะเคมีนะแล้วก็ไปทํ
So, what about the formula for determine, determining the area here? So, it will be 1 by 2, one side and another side, right? the summation of both sides. 1 plus turn of 2.5. And the width here, which is 0. Point, oh, sorry, sorry. This is times 10 to 5. And the width, which is uh, 0. 0.2. So by using only our hand, this is the 0. 0.1, right? 10 to 4, right? 10 to 4. And uh, the summation 1 and 2.5 is going to be 3.5 times 10 to 4. All right. And it's in square meter. Okay. But, you know, it's not the unit for uh, for us because this is the work, right? Work will be area A. And that's going to be... Uh, Three, five, zero, zero. The unit of the work is to write like this. Okay. I hope it's correct. Let's check whether it's correct. Oh, let me put. Let's check whether it's correct or not. Yeah. Three, five, and. Uh, Zero, zero, zero. Okay, uh, this one. Three, five, zero, zero. Area of triangle, area of square. The next one is uh, the change in the internal energy of the gas. So it's delta U, right? Oh, maybe it's about zero. Delta U is NCV delta T. Delta U is N C V delta T because uh, we are dealing with the the monatomic gas, right? So our C V will be three by two R. Okay. Let's have a look whether we can use uh, this formula or not. Uh, N is the number of gas mole. They provide here and it's four, right? Next one, CV is not a problem. Delta T. Delta T. They didn't provide even the, the temperature. My God, how can we find that? They don't provide any information about the temperature at all, okay? No initial temperature, no final temperature. So how could we find delta T? Anyway, let's get back to the the ideal gas formula. Ideal gas formula for No, my God. Okay. Uh, what is that? It's PV and RT, right? At the first state and at the final state, right? There are two scenarios, two conditions. At the first state, everything should have the subscript of number one, right? Uh, PV and RT, that's the pressure change in this scenario. The pressure changes, right, from 1, 2, 3, times 10 to 5. So P should be specific for the first condition, so that's why we have P1. Does the volume change in this scenario, in this problem? Yes, also, right? So we should have also the subscript of P and B. And the next one, does the amount of gas evacuate or uh, evanescence or disappear from the process? Is there any change about the gas mole? No, right? Because there is no leak in the system. So N would be the same without any subscript, right? 
and we would tap R. R is universal for any gas, doesn't change at all. And T temperature, which is T1, right? In the second condition, we are going to have also the same thing, but the one that changes would have the subscript of number two. P2, V2, N, N, R, T, <coughs> sorry, two. Once you have these two equations, the ideal gas formula for both uh, states, how can you find delta T in this manner? Lao Ha Deng. Delta T Ha Deng. You know that what we want is delta T, right? Delta T will be T final, right? To fi T final is the second temperature minus the first temperature, right? And if you move in R to the left hand side, in R to the left hand side, you can find the expression for the delta T. Yeah, very good. So uh, delta T will be P2 V2 divided by NR minus P1 V1 divided by NR, right? But note that NR is the common term, right? They are fixed for both terms. Uh, we can move it out of this, so we have N and R. So we have here P1, oh sorry, sorry. P2 V2 minus P1 V1, right? So that's delta T. In order to go ahead with delta U, you can write down now. Delta U is uh, 3 by 2 R and N, and this thing, which is uh, delta T. So you would have also 1 by N R and uh, P2 V2 minus P1 V1 and close the parenthesis. What can we do next then? Me see in Bangla. Home to tap, no chai see dam someone got among yak. You can cancel here in an R, right? R, R, in, in. So you end up with R. Uh, 3 by 2 and uh, 3 by 2 uh, P1 sorry P2 V2 minus P1 V1 alright oh, this is the same again the blue is the same there is no other there is only this Okay, let's go ahead with that. Uh, is there any space for us? Um, three by two, P2, why is that? Pressure at the second stage, which is three, right? Three times 10 to five, and times V2. V2 is the pressure, which is only 0 0.3, okay? And minus P1. P1 is at 1. Oh, 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 oh. no, no, no. P2 is 2.5. I'm sorry for that. It's 2.5 instead of 3. Okay. If you take a look closely, okay, because this figure is very small. If you take a look at uh, this figure closer, you can see this is, this corresponds to 2.5. And uh, P1, it's quite simple. It's number one. One times 10 to 5. N times the V1, the initial volume. So it's 0.1. Okay. And uh, now we can use our hand or by any technique. The common term is 10 to 5. And uh, right here, uh, okay, uh, 10 to 4. Right. 3. 10 to 3, okay. Uh, 
3 by 2 times 10 to 3, and you would have 25 times 3 minus uh, 10. All right. And uh, seventy five minus ten, so it's going to be sixty five, right? Sixty five, and there you have one nine five by two times ten to three, so you end up with uh, nine. Seven, right? Point five times ten to three. So that will be nine seven five zero zero joule. Okay, the change of the internal energy. All right. Let's check whether we are really correct or not. Yeah, nine seven five. Zero, zero. Okay, that's correct. Perfectly. And the last one is the combination of two previous answers. Uh, Q, right? Q. Q is the summation of derivative and work. This right here. Okay, we're going to use this one. The first law of thermodynamics. So, uh, oh, Q is there you plus W. There you plus W, right? So we have nine seven five zero zero plus this one thirty five comma zero zero, right? So it's going to be. I don't know what is that. Five zero zero and two one three, right? That's in two. Okay. Uh, let's check where we. Oh no, we are correct on uh, one three two times ten to five. Okay. All right. That's correct. This one, Q. Okay. It's not so difficult, but you, you need to be, uh, you need to memorize the formula and understand the page of it. Uh, the next one is the cash work. Okay, cash work. Uh, it's gamma, which is the ratio between two molar heat capacities. Okay, uh, what is that? You know, we have uh, CP, right? The specific heat, molar specific heat for the case when uh, the pressure is constant. That's CP right here. Okay, oh, yeah. Wait, I need to have to put that. CP. Uh, that's the molar heat capacity when the pressure is constant, CP. And CP is the molar heat. On how much you can sit? You can't sit in the chair. You can 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 sit in the แกมมาเป็นตัวอักษรหนึ่งในภาษากรีกป่ะใช่ป่ะเอลฟาเบต้าเดลต้าแล้วก็แกมมาป่ะประมาณนั้นครับเขาจะมีไม่ครบเหมือนภาษาอังกฤษนะอ่าโอเคอ่า that gamma okay and is known as the ratio of two molar heat capacities what do you think gamma should be greater than one or less than one what do you expect then? Should gamma be greater than one or less than one or strictly equal to number one? Huh? Less than one? 
which quantity is greater than another whether, uh, between CP and CV? CP is CV plus R, right? And CV depends on the type of the gas, right? If we are talking about the monatomic gas, CV will be 3 by 2R, right? So the ratio between CP and CV, what, what, what should that be? Should be greater than 1? Huh? Or less than 1? Huh? Greater than 1, right? Because CP includes also the value of CV. So this value is, of course, is what you know, right? It's 8.3145, which is greater than. So something that, that is added to an, another positive number, should, so uh, this one should, uh, the numerator should be greater than the denominator. So this ratio is going to be greater than one. Do you know that uh, you have, it's quite, it was surprising that you have already seen the value of gamma from the table, like in this uh, table, you, this is what you have seen before. Okay, uh, for example, here you have monatomic gas, 1.67. Is that tr true that um, the monatomic gas has the gamma of 1.67? You can compute it somehow, like this. Uh, uh, gamma is um, C P by C V, right? But C P is the summation of C V plus R, and this is C V, all right? And uh, what else? Uh, you know, C V for the monatomic gas. Uh, it's going to be 1 plus R by CV. You know that for monatomic uh, gas, you're going to have CV equal to 3 by 2R, right? So once you substitute CV from the monatomic gas, you would get 1 plus R and 3 by 2R. So what is that? It will be 1 plus 2 by 3, right? But what is the decimal number for 2 by 3? 0 0.6666666, blah, 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 right? In finitely, you're gonna have 1.66 and so on. Okay, and in uh, approximation way, we can say that this is 1.67. Uh, okay, and that's why you get this thing here. Okay, and uh, but it's not all, all the case. Okay, sometimes the gas do not strictly follow. 3 by 2 are, uh, we would have also uh, different values for uh, ratio of the molar gas capacity. And uh, for the diatomic gas, uh, you would have another uh, different values, 1.4 and so on. Uh, you know, monatomic gas is, is the one that has uh, 5 by 2. Okay. You know, Di atomic gas would have CV as what is the CV for the mo diatomic gas? 5 over 2, right? 5 over 2. Ah. And once you substitute it into this expression, this is mona, mona. And for the diatomic, What should that be? You should have gamma equal to 1 plus R divided by 5 by 2R, right? So you would end up with number 1 plus 
2 by 5. What is the decimal number of 2 by 5? 2 over 5. 0 point, 0 point 0.4, right? So you get 1.4. And that's why we get this value for the diatomic gas. Okay. Again, for the polyatomic gas, that will be the same thing. You, 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 we have different value for CV. Okay, uh, you can also take the value from uh, this table, okay, which is uh, quite close to each other from the pre uh, quite close to the previous table. Um, what else? Uh, uh, gas work, right? Gas work. Uh, gas work. This thing. Uh, in the adiabatic process, when uh, there is no heat exchange at all, there is no heat transfer at all in the process. Uh, from state one, we have P1 and volume V1 to state two, pressure P2 and V2. We are going to get the relation uh, P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma, and both are equal to a constant. And uh, yeah, this is quite important formula. And uh, if you go further, you will get T1 V1 raised to gamma minus one, and T2 V2 raised to gamma minus one. Okay, this is the, the adiabatic process. There is no heat transfer at all. So Q is zero, simply speaking. And uh, W will be the negative value of the internal energy chain. And, uh, uh, internal energy chain will, can be calculated somehow from the table previously. Oh, where is that? Uh, this one, okay. A debit process means uh, you calculate the, the, the internal energy from this one. NCV delta T and Q is zero and uh, work is the negative value of the, the internal energy. Okay, that's a debit process. Uh, now let's uh, use the gas work. Uh, let's uh, try to solve the problem about the gas work. We arrive at the monatomic IU gas problem here, which is taken from the book number four. At initial pressure, one point zero one ten to five Pascal. And it expands adiabatically. Okay, this is the key word to us. Adiabatically means that there is no heat transfer, there is no heat exchange at all in that process. From an initial value 1.5 uh, cubic meter to uh, doubling its volume. So it it corresponds to this figure. You start from somewhere which is 1.5 cubic meter, and uh, uh, it get expansion to three cubic meter, like this, twice, right, double. And uh, they start from the pressure, which is 1.01, okay, okay, a little bit greater than one, times 10 to five. And uh, finally, it would reach the pressure at something between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 uh, cubic meter. Okay, uh, and uh, find the new pressure. Find the new pressure. So how can we get that better? This is the adiabatic process, right? And CV delta T and work is negative value of delta U. The information that they provide are only that. 
the new pressure. So you need to guess the value here. What is the exact value at the end on the bottom right at the red in the red curve? What position on the y-axis should be? Three five maybe. This is zero point three, right? This is zero point four. What should that be? Three two three 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 something like that. Yeah, it's a good guess if you don't know if you if you cannot remember the the physics formula at all. So you just take a look by a numerical approximation by eyes. But uh, in order to go to go ahead with the physics stuff. เอาสิรวิทย์แมวยกเก้าอี้มาคุณนั่งนานนั่งเมื่อยๆยกมาได้เลยครับตรงนั้นอ่ะนั่งนานระวังเหยียบ iPad ตัวเองครับเออเดี๋ยวโอเค we are gonna use the uh, spatial formula for the arithmetic process right p one v one This is two gamma. This is two gamma. Uh, if you cannot remember, I will go back to that page. Okay, this one. Equation 205. Oh, lecture one has Samakar 205. Samakar. Okay, ah. P1. V1. Versus 2 gamma equal to P2. V2. With the power of gamma. But, uh, do we know? What do we know then? We know the... V V one right and V two we know that V one is uh what is that one point five cubic meter and V two that's three cubic meter all right and P one start from 1.01 times 10 to 5 Pascal. All right. So it means uh, we know this value, well, this value, well, this. No, not this. This one and this. Not not gamma. So how could we find gamma to this problem? Uh, gamma is the ratio. Oh, sorry, sorry. C P divided by C B right, and monatomic gas will be, uh, of course C P is C B plus R, and C B again, so you get one plus R by C B, and for monatomic uh, gas, we have uh, C B is. 3 by 2 r we substitute that into the expression gamma will be 1 plus r by cv oh sorry this is 3 by 2 r so you get 1 plus 2 by 3 yeah uh, 5 by 3 oh gamma is oh sorry yeah 5 by 3 And uh, now we will substitute everything to this expression. And we solve this equation for P2 because we want to find P2. P2 will be V1 by V2 raised to gamma times P1, right? V1 by V2 is uh, 1.5 by 3. With the power of that one, it's five by three. 
times P1. P1 is 1.01 times 10 to 5. Okay, and use the calculator to compute that uh, problem. Ah, hit rate. This is how much? 1.5 ส่วน 3. Yok กำลัง 5 ส่วน 3. คูณ 1 ส่วน 1 10 กำลัง 10 10 กำลัง 5. ออกมาได้ยังไง? Help me, please, to compute that. Ah, uh, what is that? 0 0.5, right? 1.5 by 3, so it's 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5 raises to. Hey, na, the machine is at what speed? Ah, here. To five by three. And times 1.01. Times 10 to 5, right? This one. You get 31813. 31813. Oh. Yeah, something like that. And 0. 0. 0. 7. The pressure is of course, it should be in Pascal, right? And let's check whether our solution is reasonable or not. Ben Hedwin Horn, say that, Mania. Sam to Tolena. Sam, eh? Sam, come on. 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 เกิดอะไรขึ้นครับไม่มีใครรู้ครับไม่มีใครรู้เอาไปโชว์ด็อกเตอร์โชคเดี๋ยวผมส่งให้ครับโอเคครับเดินทางหวั่นไหวครับอ
So the first one, how many square in this uh, are there in this uh, area? You're gonna have to use the, this one, right? Number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right, and What about this thing, which is this uh, <laughs> this uh, portion, which are com not the complete squares, right? You need to approximate. But anyway, you get at least tw uh, uh, 13 boxes, right? 13 squares. And let's talk about the rest. Let's use uh, this one, right? Oh my god. Okay. Assume that this one corresponds to this one. Okay. We will count it as a single box, right? We have now 13 complete perfect boxes. And another one, what is that? Uh, okay. We assume that this correspond to another box. This one. Okay. And what about this? Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's say this one corresponds to, can be combined with this one so that we can get another box. And what else? Where else? Can you see anything more? One, two, three. And let's say this is another box. Where? This one. Okay. This is another box. We have one, two, three, four more boxes. So the number of square is seven. Assume that there are uh, approximately. Seventeen boxes. All right. The first feature. The next one is that. What is the area for each box? Uh, the size of this one. So the area is the width and the height, right? It's zero point five area of the square. 0 0.5 ตาม 0.3 ตามกฎที่เราเรียนอ่ะกฎที่เราเรียนอ่าครับอ่าไม่อยากขัดก็ได้อ่ะเออนี่ไปเลย 0.3 so 0.1 0.1 times 10 to 5 and how can we get that is 5 times 10 to 3, right? So, in total, work will be the multiplication of this thing, which is 17 times 5, times 10 to 3. So you get 85 times 10 to 3, and that's uh, 8, 5, 0, 0, 0, 2. Okay, the work done in this uh, 
in this problem. Is that correct? Yeah, 8.5 times 10 to 4, which is uh, the same, right? 85 times 10 to 3, yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, now we move to the next uh, question. Ah, it's about uh, piston and cylinder in a combustion engine. Okay, maybe if you are, uh, if you are interested in mechanical engineering, is there anyone who would like to study the bachelor degree in uh, mechanical engineering? You're gonna deal with this, okay? That's a combustion engine, internal combustion engine, okay? Uh, internal because there is combustion of the fuel inside this chamber, the, the area. Combustion room, combustion cavity, if you can say that. This is the top, uh, bottom dead center, the lowest possible location of the crankshaft of the, the engine. And this is the, I don't know, I forget the word. What is that? Gansu, Pasang, Kit, Lewan, and Akom Lumera. Gansu. Taluk Su, Lewa Piston. Gansu. พิมพ์ภาษาอันนั้นให้หน่อยกูเกิลให้หน่อยคําว่าก้านสูบกับภาษาอังกฤษเรียกว่าอะไรนะผมก็ลืมไปแล้วอ๋อผมไม่ได้
้ลิ้นไอดีก็คือวาวที่ปล่อยให้อากาศดีเข้าไปนะครับ and you would have also the uh, outlet valve okay so that you can take out the exhaust okay exhaust gas all right so uh, in this problem uh, we have the combustion ratio for diesel engine as uh, 15 to 1 okay so the combustion ratio is 15 in figure uh, 91 and uh, that means the air in the cylinder is compressed to 1 15th of the initial volume. Assume that the air is the mixture of diatomic oxygen and nitrogen. Is that reasonable on Earth? That's reasonable, right? Because most of the air we breathe uh, in every uh, second would be composed of uh, oxygen and nitrogen, right? And uh, we are going to assume, assume that um, the ideal gas would have the uh, ratio of specific, molar specific heat at uh, 1.4. Okay, that's what I have shown you how to calculate 1.2 by 5. Okay, it's equal to 1.4. Okay, the molar gas uh, ratio. And the initial pressure would be reasonable. It's at the atmospheric pressure, 1.01 times 10 to 5. This is the typical engine, okay? But if you have the turbo shot engine, what does that mean? It's gonna compress more pressure to the combustion chamber. You will not have only one, uh, one bar, like it's one atmospheric PATM. You're gonna have even more pressure in, uh, to get in, in the combustion chamber. Uh, the initial temperature, let's say uh, the temperature is normal, like 27. It's reasonable, right? It's like in Thailand, but in Thailand, the temperature would be higher than this. So, simply speaking, in Kelvin, we would have 300 Kelvin. Let's calculate the final pressure. Okay, our final pressure would be uh, P2, as same as this one. So, you can follow everything, but uh, Uh, some variable will be different. Okay, uh, uh, this one, one point zero one as well. And uh, what about V one, V two? Okay, V one is V one is V one for whatever value that we can assume. And V two is only one by fifteen. V one. Okay, and uh, once you substitute all of these into uh, this formula again, you would have uh, uh, V1 is V1, V2 is 1 by 15 V1, right? And with the power of 1.4, okay, gamma is 1.4. And uh, now the number that we uh, will type in the calculator will be uh, 15. 15 times 10 to 4 and 1.01 1 .01 times 10 to 5. Okay, that's it. And uh, you get, uh, you can use the cal calculator right now. Uh, 15, right, 15. And 1.4. Oh, ถ้าหมดเวลาไงนี่บอกผมด้วยนะครับเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวคุณครูคนอื่นเขามารอนะครับ4 4 7 5 5 7โอเคผมต้องเก็บของอะไรอีกเนาะเดี๋ยวห้องนู้นผมไม่ได้สอนนะครับโอเคอ่า4 4 Four four uh, seven. Oh no 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 no! It's even larger than that. Four four seven five five seven eight point zero six. This one this one right? Four million pascal. You can say. That. You can see that pressure is way high, right? 
much greater than before. It's only uh, 100,000, but this is 4 million. 40, 44 higher, right? 44 times higher. And let's talk about the temperature. Okay, you start with uh, the 300 Kelvin, right? 300 Kelvin, and you're going to need to use this formula T1V1 with the gamma power of minus 1, right? With the power of gamma minus 1. โอ้ขอนี่ข้อสุดท้ายแล้วนะเราจะจบบทนี้นะครับเราจะถ่ายแล้วนะเราจะจบบทนี้นะครับเราจะถ่ายแล้วนะเราจะจบบทนี้นะ
and it's in the sec semester of number one academic year 2023. There are mainly four uh, topics in this chapter. That's uh, elastic behavior of solids. In uh, this is taken from book number one, and uh, in section 99.3. And the next one is the surface tension. Okay, the reference is, uh, that you can find is the, uh, is the following. Uh, fluid statics, and of, of course, we will talk also about viscosity, which is the, which is a spatial nature of the liquid. Okay, this is the property of the solid. And uh, now we talk about the fluid again. Uh, fluids uh, mean uh, fluids mean the our state that includes both uh, liquid and, and and gas, right? Gas and liquid can be classified as fluid. Uh, if you study mechanical engineering or chemical engineering or something that you need to deal with fluid statics, fluid pressure, okay, and uh, bouillon force. Okay, bouillon force is the, the force that lifts you up when you are in a fluid. Okay, uh, also here in, in the air, where we have uh, the several gas molecules allow us. Our fluid dynamics, now it's the movement. Okay, we study something about the movement of the fluid. And uh, first we will see the condition of the so-called ideal fluid. Okay, this may not be uh, the perfect fluid that correspond to the real nature. Uh, and the next one is continuity equation uh, and uh, Bernoulli's equation that includes the several effects uh, that includes also sometimes continuity equation. Bernoulli's equation, as I can remember, is what was invented in 19 and something, or 18 and something. So it's around 200 years ago Okay. The guy, of course, who invented this, uh, this uh, equation is this guy, okay, Bernoulli. Okay, he is a French uh, physicist. Okay, let's talk about elastic behavior of the solid. Uh, elastic property of solids are discussed in terms of stress and strain. Okay, if you deal with the material in mechanical engineering, you need to know the terms uh, stress and strain, okay? When you want to use uh, some material, for example, uh, you, we just, uh, we were just faced with the submarine, right? Submarine, uh, uh, the, the submarine ship that uh, brings the people to be under the water, like to travel to see the Titanic uh, ruin, right? Uh, yeah. If you decide the submarine uh, object, you need to know how much stress and stay strain uh, for a, a material have, right? Sh should have, so that uh, you can, you will not get destruction uh, once the submarine object is under the deep water, sea water. Okay, strain is the force per unit area. Okay, of course, it's, it's like a pressure, right? Strain is defined in a similar ma manner as the pressure. Pressure is also the force per area, causing deformation. And uh, strain is the measure of the amount of the de deformation. For example, if you take a look at this figure, uh, you have a fixed device, okay, in order to compress this uh, metal bar to the table, okay, it's going to be fixed like this. And if you apply the force, okay, in the opposite way from this clamp, okay, uh, of course the object is going to uh, get expanded a little bit, okay, because the because we have a strong uh, interactive forces among several molecules of this uh, ion. So we, we cannot stretch so much, but anyway, 
the molecule of the steel would uh, get expansion by delta L, and the initial value of this metal rod, metal bar, is let's say it's uh, L0. Okay, you, uh, if the cross sectional area of the, this metal or metal bar is the A, and if you apply the force F in this direction out of the C clamp device, stress and strain can be defined in a simple way. Okay, the word tensile has the same root as the word tension. Is used because the bar is under tension. Okay, we sometimes use the word tensile. And we define the tensile stress as the ratio of the magnitude of the external force. Okay, this is the vector, but we will consider only the magnitude of that. Okay, uh, we define the stress as the following stress will be force per area according to this uh, definition, force per unit area. Okay, uh, we use the variable in Greek, okay, the letter in Greek, which is sigma to the percent or denote the 10 size rates sigma. Okay, F is the same as you know, F has the unit of, no, uh, of Newton, right? And area is denoted by the capital A. What is the unit of area then? Area in SI system would be in square meter, right? So what is the unit of tensile stress then? Tensile stress would have the unit of F by A, what is that? F would be in Newton and A will be in, in square meter. So the unit of Ten size threads will be uh, newton per newton per square meter. All right. Or in other words, uh, unit of uh, new, newton per square meter is quite straightforward in uh, in SI system, but we we it's not convenient. It's inconvenient to always say newton per square meter. That is a dedicated word, simple word for that, which is Pascal. The same unit as the pressure that you have seen before, right? In the chapter of uh, heat and gas, okay, this is sigma tensile threat. It is the same unit as the pressure as you have seen before. Okay, tensile strain, as I know, I told you, it's the, the amount of deformation, but how can we define the amount of deformation? Okay, don't worry. Physicist has already defined this quantity, this ratio, okay, okay uh, for you. Tensile strain is the ratio between change in the length, which is denoted by delta L, and the original length or the initial length, which is denoted by L0. They're gonna use y epsilon like this. This variable is the ratio of, of the length change and the initial length. Okay, you know that uh, the numerator, which is delta L, the, the difference of the length should be in, of course, in SI is gonna be meter, right? And uh, the initial uh, length at the denominator would be in meter, right? So uh, meter by meter will be, will be nothing, right? Because both will cancel each other. So in conclusion, the tensile strain would not have the unit at all. Okay, uh, let's have a look, a uh, closer look at the behavior of the solid like this. This is called straight versus strain curve for elastic solid. What is the example of elastic solid? What is that? It's a rubber that you can see from the uh, the back, right? When you go to a shop and order the curry and something like that, they're gonna provide the curry into a plastic bag and they're gonna use the, the rubber, right, to tie. And that rubber uh, can be a good example of the elastic solid, okay? 
are rubber. Okay, rubber is somehow it is uh, is made of like uh, I'm gonna use ah uh, not this one. Maybe this one, okay? You would be familiar with this one. Okay? This is an example of the elastic solid. Okay? If you pull it, it's going to be stretched. And finally, it will return to the initial uh, length, right? Okay. Uh, when you pull uh, apart the this one, okay, the rubber like this, and uh, when it returns to the original size, it's called elastic behavior. But um, the strain will be the same, right? If you put more force, you will get more strain, okay? And uh, when you pull more and more, okay, the returning size uh, the returning uh, length will not be the same. And finally, when you pull more and more, this rubber is going to be break, broken down. Okay? It will fall apart from each other. It's going to break, break down. Okay. Uh, that's the behavior of elastic solid. Ten size threads is linearly proportional to the tensile strain during this region, the elastic behavior. And it is possible to exceed the elastic limit of a substance by applying a sufficiently great stretch. If you apply more and more force, it's going to break down the elastic behavior of that solid. And if you put more force, that solid is going to be uh, separated from each other. It's going to be broken. Okay, elastic limit is the straight strain curve departure from the straight line. This is the elastic behavior. This is beyond the elastic um, behavior. It's called, this part is called elastic limit. Material subjected to straights beyond this limit ordinarily does not return to its original length anymore when the external force is removed. As the straight is increased further, uh, it surpasses the ultimate strength. The greatest stretch that the substance can withstand without breaking is shown for several materials in figure three. Okay. For example, if you want to put uh, more and more force to the ion, the amount of force somehow is 10 million newton per square meter, which is very, very high, right? And uh, comparison strength will be even uh, stronger. You need to put more forces onto this iron. But this, this will remain the same for, st uh, for the steel, whether you pull or you, you pull, compress it. But one of the important thing is the steel has a more uh, tensile strength than iron. Because you mix some uh, particles to the, the iron and you get steel. And uh, aluminum is even weaker than iron. Okay. Aluminum has the same value of the tensile stress, tensile strength and compressive strength. Marble, what is marble? Can you, can you destroy marble by, of course, is there any elastic behavior for marble? Marble, what is it? Marble. Huh? Look at it. Not a hint on. Hint on, not a hint on. Not a hint on. If you're a hint on, you can't get a hint on. You can't get a hint on. You can't get a hint on. 
if you compress it, of course, marble can uh, withstand the, the compressing force. Brick, okay, uh, absorb a little bit, thin side strength, and uh, so much more for the compressive strength. But and concrete, concrete. Is it possible that the concrete has elastic behavior? Concrete, samat, you do it, eh? Concrete, you do it, eh? May die. Couldn't curry him to run concrete, we have Villa Hosan, cut up me, Penny. Cut up me, send Han Lawang, Chin Chin, and eh? How me send my brother, I have. ไม่ใช่ดิถนนนะถนนอืออ่าคอนกรีตโรดลักดิสโน่ดิสอีสแอสฟาวโรดโรดลักดิสยูแคนซีแดดแดนิสไลท์เฮียรีดวอตอีสเดอะเพอร์โพสฟอร์เดดทำไมอ่ะหรือว่าเขาเป็นรูปบล็อกของถนนของตัวหล่อคอนกรีตอาจารย์มันก็เลยมีเส้นอย่างนี้ Why should we have this line มีไว้เพื่ออะไรเนี่ยเรามีเส้นอันนี้บนถนนเพื่ออะไรครับเส้นนี้ฮะเพื่ออะไรนะครับขออีกรอบมายาวกี่เมตรแล้วนี่เหรอเขามีไว้เพื่ออะไรเพราะว่าถนนมันฮะจากจบกันเลยว่าอยู่เส้นนี้ใช่ไหมเหมือนกับนักวิ่งกําลังออกสตาร์ทอย่างเงี้ยเส้นนั้นนะครับถนนนี้อยู่ในร่มหรือว่าอยู่ตากแดดครับอ oh, ๋อพอร้อนแล้วมันแข็งอ่ะถูกต้องแค่นี้แค่นั้นเอง you know that the concrete has tensile strength and tensile strength okay I should Collect my stuff right now, okay? So that the next teacher is going to be ready to uh, teach you for the next subject. Today, the class is over. See you not next week, right? The week after that, right? Because next week is dedicated to your Saman Meet activity, right? See you next time. Bye bye. Kap. Sawadee kap. Sawadee kap. Pom kep kong kan? Kwa wa. Mi yo kap. สวัสดีครับยี่สิบเจ็ดเล่นเกมอะไรครับยี่สิบเจ็ดสวัสดีครับเอากลับกันเลยแล้วคุณไม่เรียนวิชาต่อไปกับเขาเหรอขายของผมก็ไปขายของแล้วขายของเดินทางปลอดภัยครับเ
โอ้วันนี้พกเครื่องมือมาเองเลยนะครับมาก่อนสุดยอดมากเราต้องขอบคุณ